Today we're going to look at exponential growth and decay and solve some problems. So the first one we're going to look at, a population grows by 2.5% each month. By what percent will the population increase in one year? So the interesting part of this is that the percent that we're given is monthly, but we want to know the percent for one year. So let's remember our exponential model. And you may use different variables than this, but I'm just going to go with the uh, variables used in a course that I'm currently teaching. It's something like this. And so let's go through what these mean. So Q sub 0, that's your initial amount, your starting population. And this needs to be when t is equal to 0. R is your rate or your percentage per some time frame right here and t is your time measured in what days months years whatever these two things need to be the same all right so if your rate is per month then this t time is going to be in months if your rate is per year then your time is going to be in years and q is the uh, amount after time t so let's see what we know here. First thing we know is that the population grows by 2.5% each month. So we're going to go ahead and go monthly for our rate per month and our time in months. So we're going to put our, our rate in there. And we're going to change it to a decimal. OK, and this is going to be Q right here. Now the time, if we want to know by what percent the population will increase in one year, then what we really want to do is see what's this initial population. And we're not given an initial population. We could put one in, but we don't have to. Um, you know, how, what is this new population going to be after a year? So we're going to make this 12 months. So this is 12 months. Okay. So if we come over here and we punch this stuff in, let's put this over here. And we do 1.025, right? That's what I get when I add those together, to the 12th power. That's going to come out to be, oh, let's round this to 1.345. All right, so I get Q equals Q0 times 1.345. All right, so what is this telling me right here? This is telling me that whatever my initial population is, I'm going to multiply that by 1.345 to get my new population. So this can be thought of as 134.5%. So that tells me that my new amount, my new population, is going to be 34.5% more or increase, right? Because this 100%, this 1 is representing your 100%, and this is the amount of increase. Okay? So it's going to be, it's going to raise by 34.5%. So where students make a mistake here is they think, oh, well, if it's raising 2.5% each month, I'll just times that by 12, and it's going to raise 30%. And that's ignoring the compounding that's happening. It's going to raise by more than 30%. It's going to raise by 34.5%. And you don't even have to know what Q sub 0 is. Okay? This tells you what's happening. All right, why don't you try another one like this? A loan business charges 1.5% per day. What is the annual percentage rate charged by this business? So go ahead and pause the video and give that one a try. All right, well, this is going to follow the same kind of thing. They're not telling us how much was borrowed. They're not telling us the initial amount borrowed. And it really doesn't matter to figure this out. We know that they're charging 1.5% uh, per day. So my T here is in days, right? This is in days. I want to know what is the annual percentage rate. So I want to know how many, you know, what percent times Q0 is going to give me Q. And so I need to put this out however many days I want. And since I basically want to know how much it's going to increase in a year, then I'm going to put in the number of days in a year. So I'm going to make this to the 365th power. 
that's going to tell me whatever this number was, like say it was 100 bucks, and you could put in 100 bucks to see this in action, or $1, and multiply it by this, that's going to tell you your new amount, and you're going to be able to figure out the percent of increase. But it's really not necessary to do that because you can just put in 1.015 to the 365th power and we get 229.142. Okay, let's analyze this. 229.142. So remember this number here in our formula is the 1 plus R. So in order to get the annual percent increase, we're really trying to figure out this R value. So we want to rewrite this and think of this. So this number is kind of craziness because it's, it's so big, um, which happens when you get these like paycheck places that charge this percent per day. It's pretty outrageous when you put it out for a year or a month or something. Um, all right, so we have to change this to a percent. So we have to move the decimal two places to change it to a percent. And then we can think of this as 100% plus 22,814.2%. That's kind of craziness. So that is the percent that they're actually charging per year. That's a little bit crazy. All right, let's try another example that's not so crazy. The value of a collectible decreases by 4.2% per week. By what percent will the value decrease in one year? All right, go ahead and pause the video and try that one. So we have a decrease of 4.2%. So now our R value is negative. So we could think of this as minus 0.042. Um, and this is weekly, right? So my T value here is how many weeks. And I want to know how much it will increase in one year. So that's 52 weeks. So this is going to be 52. I want to do this decrease 52 times and see what the result of that would be. So 1 minus 0 0.42 would be, let's see, 95.8%. Does that sound right? 95.8? Yep, okay. So let's plug this in, clear this. So we get 0.958 to the... 52nd power, so we get 0 0.1074, let's go with that, 0 0.1074 times 0 0.1074. All right, so what we want to do is we want to figure out what the R value is. This is not the R value. Remember, what goes in this parenthesis is 1 plus R. So we want to figure out, and you could go off to the side and do a little algebra problem if you want. We want to figure out what value of r will make 1 plus r equal to, you know, so it's about a 90% decrease. You can kind of see that, right? This is about 10%. So this is going to have to be about a 90% decrease. Um, so let's go ahead and just set it up like a little equation. Let's write this over here. I, I want 1 plus r to come out to be this, maybe changing it to a percent would be helpful too, but so if I subtract one from both sides, I get R equals basically this number right here, take away one, is a negative 8926. Let's go 8926. Negative 8926. So I move my decimal two places, and I've lost almost 90% of my value. If I am decreasing by 4.2% per week, I'm going to lose about 90% of my value in a year. 
All right, well, I hope that helps you guys figure out uh, different percents of increase and decrease.